decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Darius Slay with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Second and two now. The penalty leaves him in pretty good shape. Play action. It's Newton. Fights him off. Rolling to his right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the linebacker, Talvin Smith. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play, taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They are excited about where they are in this game. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. Oh, Fournette loses it. It's out. And the Panthers have recovered. Hey, I'm all about defense forcing plays and, and, and getting takeaways. But an interception and two fumbles in their last three offensive possessions. Time to readjust. <laughs> yeah, they, you, you can't just give all the credit to the defense on that. They've got to look in the mirror and take the blame themselves and figure out how to not do it anymore. Now following the interception, here's Newton. And an alley to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there? And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll toss it to Fournette. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. On second down, here's Locke. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. Give him seven on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. You ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football, so now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, come on, come on, and they hit him over the top. Hey, hey, hey. Go, go. Third and two, lock. Caught left side, it's Beckham. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. So they go pass on third and two. They complete it, but no gain. Should they have tried to run it? I thought that running the ball in that situation is what they would have done because at worst-case scenario, you may bring up a fourth down decision for your team. Instead, now, they're not close to the first down. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. 
How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. Sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And he whips that one incomplete there. Jerry Rice, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. Hey, hey. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. It's a screen to Ricky Williams. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. The job one to pick up the first down is complete. That was a big third down conversion, but they got to watch the clock. It's starting to become their enemy a bit here in a two-score game. Which means they have to pick up the pace, right? The tempo has to be upped. And what they do is they tell the quarterback in his, in his helmet, hey, listen, when we pick up the first down here, tell everyone we're going. We're moving now to two-minute offensive phase, and everyone on the bench area, they're waving them along too. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Johnson, the intended target. And now it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Second and 10, Newton again. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Pass the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain of 32 that time. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. Now the Jerry Rice open right side. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. They'll try and run. This is Williams. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. The Panthers got to go quickly. They're moving with a sense of urgency right now. What a game this defense has played. They're pitching a shutout, so it'll be fun to watch down the stretch to see if their defensive coordinator continues to be as aggressive as he's been all game long. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? They come out here in the eye. Here's Newton. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> And out of bounds there on the kick. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. Now for that. And nothing doing. 
He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. We got three. We got three, fellas. We got three. Now run it again with Fournette. And he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. The Panthers are going to take another timeout. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Third down, Fournette, and he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's Brian Anger now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. Call it a gain of three, and that'll make this a second down. Now second and seven from the 23. He'll look to throw. He'll throw underneath for Gurley. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Six yards on the pickup, and that is going to set up a third and one. He's left up. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Back to throw. He finds Beckham complete. 20, 10, and he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What looks like is going to be the game deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Big mistake here by the kicker, kicking it out of bounds. The one that drives coaches crazy. Keep it in the field of play and let your guys cover. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. complete to Reed. 23 yards on the play. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to let it flop. And this is caught inside the five. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Check it out, 
punch it in with Fournette. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn.